Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel for another one. Today we're going to dye some chainsaw plastic using RIT dye. Black, orange to black, or white to black. Uh, just got a few pieces for the projects on the go. 372 X Torque, uh, 5 triple five, uh, 562 XP cylinder cover for that saw and all the plastics I could scrounge up for Project 66. So let's get into it, guys. Okay, sports fans, we're, um, we're here. This is my die setup, first time using it, so still working out the bugs as we go. But I got a uh, 20 quart stainless pot on a, a hot stove. I don't know what you want. It's a single element. We got 10 quarts of distilled water in there already. I got uh, a basket lowered down there and tied off. Um, so, next is, on the list is acetone. I got lab grade acetone from work. And we need a cup. So, go ahead and pour a cup. This is some strong stuff. All right. So we're gonna add a little over a cup, I guess. Let's try that. Acetone mixed in. No heat. Start with no heat. This is just cold. Water and acetone have two very different boiling points. So next what we're gonna do is some salt. I believe it's a cup. Nope, way off. Quarter cup salt. Salt will help lower the boiling point of the water. We're gonna do, so this is our Rit dye. Rit dye black. A whole bottle of this. Grit, dye more, graphite, synthetic for synthetic fibers. Uh, one tablespoon of detergent. I got sunlight here, hopefully this works. Dawn, sunlight, cascade. There's gonna be plenty of soap. I'm gonna start applying heat to the solution. We're going to get this heated up to a boiling point, and then we're going to back it off to a slow simmer, and then we're going to wash our parts and then add our parts in. Okay, YouTube. There are, we're about 160.6. It doesn't seem to get much hotter than that, so maybe my hot plate isn't as great as I thought it was, but we're going to give it a shot. All right, we'll set the timer for 15 minutes. All right, guys, so the first few pieces have been in the dye solution for a little around 15 minutes. We're gonna check it out. There we go, that's looking pretty black. Wow, kind of purple. That's the first soak. 15 minutes, goes into the cold water. Grab the second piece. Let it all drip off as much as possible. Starter guard. That's started clear. And just for a check, we're about about 165 degrees. So we'll do some those are some spill parts. We'll switch to some Husqvarna parts here. I'll 
do those for 15 minutes. 562 XP. Still in the cover. We'll roll that upside down there. Let's see if we can do this 372 X Torque still in the cover. Or maybe it's too much for this. Alright, it might be too much for this pop. I'm gonna drop our tray down for our small parts. Oh, I'm gonna do this. We'll set that for 15 minutes. Alright, YouTube, that's uh, 15 minutes of this batch of parts. Or close to 15 minutes. Let's have a look. Let's check the temp. 172 on the gun. This little tin I got going on is really difficult to get out. The starter wheel didn't really take it very well. So the 66 annulars did pretty good. Chain catch did pretty good. The starter base did really good. You might be able to see in the light, it's kind of like a but really deep bronze, I guess. This back color was already like a dark gray. I'm pretty sure it's still a dark gray. So they'll probably get a second shot. So right now it's the 372 X Torque top cover going back in. The starter pulley is going to go back in. Chain catch will probably get another go. Guys, another 15 minutes. Still holding steady at 165-ish. <clears throat> okay, the timer is up for our 372 X Torque. So we cut it. So our starter pulley is coming along. It looks like. Not too bad. Some parts I wasn't able to scrub way down deep in the crevice here. Maybe I'll give another scrub and go. Okay, we're gonna get the 372 filter cover in there. We get the Husqvarna 562 XP top cover. Ooh. This might be an exercise for futility. I got quite a bit of acetone in here, probably one and a half cups or more, one and two thirds maybe. It's really strong acetone, so anytime you get in the vapors, it's uh. Yeah, you enter into a parallel dimension. Alright, let's try that for 15 minutes, guys. That's 30 minutes total for the 562 XP top cover. That's looking mighty sharp. Into the water. To rinse the uh, excess dye off. So your starter pulley probably needs more time, but. Have to wait her turn. So, 372 X torque is going to go back in. Upside down because that seems to work the best. I think we got it. Uh, 
I'll, <clears throat> I'm going to set these aside to dry, just on the bench. Nothing special. Alright, another 15 minutes, here we go. There we go guys, another 15 minutes gone by. <clears throat> They're really adding up. Lots of time spent here. Done. Oh yeah, these are definitely done. Let's see if we got those spots. Oh yeah, it's a little bit hard to get down in there. That's okay. We won't see it from the high end. All right, so that can dry off. We're gonna go back in with that's going to go in last. We're going to go back in with this. Really, this really doesn't need it. Yeah. That's it. It really doesn't need it. You're not even going to see this part. This is the pulley. It's a clearer plastic. Almost white. Well, it is white. It's not taking the dye really well, but... We're gonna drop this down in there. You will still 66 parts are gonna go in. All right guys, the 562 XP top cover came out blacker than midnight. It's pretty good. It's a little bit dull. You can tell it's a used cover. It's scratched in spots. It's not 100% brand new, but you know it's, it's what eBay had. So here we go. Um, it's not quite shiny or whatever. So we have this product here. It's called Terracote Trim Coat. We're going to use that to fix it up real nice. We'll do that live while you guys are watching here. Gonna give it a nice rub down all over the outer surface. I don't really give a, a hoot and a half about the inside. Just the spots you can see on the outside. It'll give it a nice sheen. That this trim, this piece might be trimmed out later. I'm gonna have to use this stuff on my truck. Really, really nice. Just makes it look wet. That's gonna be really nice on the, the old triple five. Giddy. I'm not sure if we're supposed to rub it off. That's what she said. So it says to give it an hour to dry. It doesn't quite say that, but it says give it an hour before doing anything with it. So here we go, guys. That's it. It's just slick. do brother's filter cover on his 372 X Torque. Wow. She's bit polished. That's some shiny plastic. Alright guys. That's pretty sick. We're going to use the same trim coat pad. We're going to touch everything we can get the pad on too.
About a side. We will do these ones without pad. These are inside pieces for the starter and clutch side. These are still factory parts. This was like a clear. This is for those starters, it's like a starter shroud. Fan shroud, whatever you want to call it. This, I believe, is clutch side. That's 15 minutes for this one. Flat top 66 top cover. Carburetor mount 66. Right, so this is the uh, chain catch roller for um, the West Coast Saws three point dogs. They send, or you can buy a uh, still chain catch. Comes gray, like a dark uh, medium gray. So that was two times in the, the old die. Turned out pretty black. Happy with that. Let's hit it with the trim coat. Hit that. This trim coat pad is getting abused. So these Maxflow covers, parts, they don't, well I tried for 20 minutes, they didn't really take, but. We're gonna try overnight with that starter pulley that's not really taking dye. I'm not gonna let it boil overnight. I'm gonna let this boil for probably half hour. Let those parts sit in there. Let them bobble around. I think it's a, like a week or so later, but um, to wrap up the dyeing video, it turned out pretty good. Uh, the only thing I'm disappointed in is the Max Airflow cover. Didn't take dye very well. Didn't take dye at all. Um, and then to address a couple talking points that I touched on, this saw uh, is a 66 Magnum, not a 66 flat top. So the 66 Magnum and the 660 are basically the same saw. The saw that I have is a 66 Magnum. So to close out on that, that project will be coming real soon. I, I got most of the parts I need for that, but the black turned out really good. Let's show you that real quick. All right. So the carrot coat top coat is what gives it its shine. I suggest hitting it once and then letting it dry for like a day, 12 hours to 24 hours. And you'll get that nice shine. Um, so a couple spots where I tried to touch it up. Right there. See where it kind of looks wet. I hit it with a second wipe about two hours later. And it did this weird beady thing. So yeah. I advise against that. But overall this dye turned out pretty good. Like I said, I, I think that dye... Worked really good on lots of these parts. I'm not with this. <sighs> I'll probably have some more parts in the future to die. I, I'm not sure if I'll show that or not. Um, where am I going with this? I am going to try and uh, die this uh, Max Airflow or Max Flow filters for the 66. Magnum again. It's quite a weird orange. It's not quite still orange. It's 
It's almost like husky orange. It's like Chinese husky orange. Anyway, I think I ended up adding vinegar and I eventually got it to about 170 degrees and that's when the dye really started to kick in. So um, if you're doing that for the first time, I went a little bit heavy on the acetone and make sure you don't add it fast because it reacts the temperature differential from the cold acetone going in to all hot stuff reacts kind of violently. So you gotta be really careful. So you make sure you add enough acetone to start with and don't forget the vinegar. That I think that was a key part. In my first little batch that wasn't taken dye very well, was, there was no vinegar. So um, I'll throw up or I'll put up rather, I'll put up the recipe for the dye in the comments so you guys can try it at home. It's, it's not overly difficult, but it was very time consuming. So um, set up and then cycling the parts through the dye. Anyway, hope you found that as entertaining as you can find it, I guess. But I got other stuff done. I don't know if you noticed. It's pretty bright. It's good. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.